Hi, and welcome back to Glassbox, my top tech tips video series. Today we will discuss what I think are the top 5 automation GUI testing tools. We will discuss what these tools are and how they are used. So firstly, what is a GUI or a GUI testing tool? Well, a GUI testing tool is basically a framework that is used to automate applications on platforms. For instance, you can use tools such as these to automate, say, applications such as in-house software applications or various other applications which run on Java, Flash, JavaScript, C, C Sharp, so on, where you can then create scripts to simulate user journeys. So without further ado, let's begin. Squish. Squish is a commercial GUI testing framework. It allows you to record and play back scripts for multi-platforms including Windows and Mac. It also has support for mobile devices, predominantly iOS and Android. Squish supports JavaScript, Perl and Ruby. So what that means is when you write or rather when you record a script using Squish, you have the ability to go and further script it using JavaScript, Perl and Ruby. That means you have more control over what you end up essentially recording as part of your test scripts. Squish also supports a data-driven framework concept. To those who don't know what a data-driven framework is, it's basically a concept of having your data effectively extracted from external documents, including the conditions to test as well. What that means is to us, Squish is effectively a framework that allows you to define data outside of your framework and gives it this dynamic concept of being able to change the data without affecting your scripts too much. RunnerX. So RunnerX is a commercial tool which also has a trial version available if you choose so to download one. It is a record and playback framework which also supports web and mobile automation. Scripts written in RunnerX can also be extended using C Sharp and .NET. So RunnerX is essentially a tool that allows an all-rounder solution to all three major automations, i.e. web, mobile and GUI platforms. Test Complete. Test Complete is actually a really common GUI framework. It is a commercial framework which runs on Windows platform. Similar to other GUI frameworks, it supports record and playback. So again, what that means is you have the ability to record a test and then play it back. And you also have the ability to extend your tests using .NET or C++. Test Complete supports desktop and mobile as well as web automation. Test Studio. Test Studio is a commercial tool which has a uniqueness to it in that it allows you to download plugins which effectively makes it compatible with Visual Studio. Its support for C Sharp and .NET then goes hand in hand with the compatibility for Visual Studio. Test Studio is also has another uniqueness in that it allows you to do performance testing as well. So what that means is, to those who don't know what performance testing is, it allows you to test the performance of your application so what that means is, let's just say your application makes a lot of service calls in the back end. It's not just a, an application that effectively runs really nice graphical interfaces such as games, but also does a lot of, say, service calls to a database or to cloud services. You can use Test Studio to perform performance testing as part of your test. You can try and use it to measure how fast your application performs under certain conditions. Eggplant. Eggplant is another commercial tool. It provides record and playback features and alongside .NET and Java applications. Eggplant also supports Flash applications giving it a little bit more uniqueness. What that means is when you have applications which are built on a backbone of Flash APIs, what that means is you can use Eggplant to automate those applications. For instance, there are a lot of applications today on the web and on desktop in general where Flash is actually growing in popularity. 
So Eggplant is a good tool which allows you to automate Flash applications. Similar to Test Studio, Eggplant also supports performance testing. In addition to that, Eggplant also supports cloud testing. And that's it for this video folks. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, I really appreciate you watching my videos. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you already haven't, hit the subscribe button below to stay up to date with my latest videos which I release every Wednesdays and Sundays. Also follow me on Twitter, Facebook and Google. Links in the description below. Until next time, ciao.